Hi, hello. <laughs> Hi Tashi, how are you doing? Oh, I'm great, thanks. And you? I hope your cough has become a little bit better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, so, this is quite spontaneous. We're going to do some keyword research for um, the kids' jukebox. And oh, I, I thought you meant the kids' Bible or...? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's right, but that's the client. Anyway. Oh, okay, yes. <laughs> okay, so let me share my screen with you. Okay. Right, so um, can you see my my screen? Yes, I'm just making that a little bit bigger, so yeah, that's, that's better. Okay, so um, this, this is the process. Okay, so I'm starting in the Google AdWords tool, because the first thing we want to know is, um, is anybody searching on these terms? So uh, let's start with a little bit of context. Um, the, so you know, we had the conversation with a client last week. He's got a number of different business channels. So each one of those could be, could have a different circuit questionnaire, circuit review. Um, However, I think that the, the key thing that stood out is he makes a fair amount of money from these kids' Bibles, which are generally given as uh, christening gifts, or baptism gifts. So he's, he said that they, they sell particularly well and they are also profitable. So yeah, I think that got our attention. We thought, well, let's do a little bit of digging to see if there's some low-hanging fruit for for this, you know, could we maybe just with some, some SEO and a little bit of optimization um, have a significant impact in his in his revenue. So so I'm I'm in the tool, I'm searching in German language only locations Germany country. Yes. Probably Germany and Austria maybe I think yeah. you mentioned that. Yes. So he sells also to the Austrian market in German. Um, okay, so you've given me a list of keywords, which I'm just going to paste straight into here. Okay, the landing page doesn't matter, category doesn't matter. And we'll hit get ideas, go onto the keyword ideas tab. And hopefully then, this will tell us, okay, these. so what we've got here is some similar um, ideas. So, this is birthday uh, present, right? Uh, not birthday, but for for when the ch child is born. So birth, oh, birth present. present. Yes, that's ah. well. That's interesting. Fourteen thousand eight hundred monthly searches. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just create a, a new blank document where we can s store some of these. Okay. Um, so we're searching by monthly searches now. So, right, is this relevant to his market? Do you think somebody who types this in, would they be open to buying the uh, customized Bible, do you think? It is, but not really spot on. I mean, it's, it's basically... I mean, if it, if a child is born, you don't know about their religion and uh, things like that. Maybe she doesn't have a religion at all, or mm. he. So, yeah, they might not be interested in buying something for the Christian faith if if they're a Muslim child or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, let's just, yeah. So, so we know it's not going to be applicable to a hundred percent. It might be applicable to less than ten percent. Yeah, okay. like I said, it's it's possible, but it's not really a one hundred percent spot on. Okay, so I'm gonna I've just copied that into Moz's um, keyword difficulty checker, which is the tool that we use to say, well, you know, could could we rank for this if we wanted to? Okay, so we're just waiting for that to generate the report. It should only take a few seconds. In fact, so do you remember the uh, what was the URL of his page? Um, give me a second. It was this dot de. 
I, I, I took out my notes again. I wrote down some stuff <laughs> okay. when we talked. So. Okay, so this is the page, yeah? Yes, exactly. Okay, so the other thing I'm just going to do quickly, which is important part, I'm going to just look that up in Open Site Explorer. Again, it's a Moz thing. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Apparently, he has no links whatsoever. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's odd. Yeah. Uh, I mean, or, I, I, or, or they haven't crawled it. But either way, it's unlikely oh. to um, to do very well in um, in search results. I mean, unless there's no competition at all. So that's that's quite a shock, really. Yeah, that's that's strange. But I, but I really like that side. I think that that concept really has the potential because I mean I'm not really really strong about faith, but I would really consider buying something like that if I was invited to a, to a baptism or something. I mean, yeah, it's it's like it's, it looks like a really good sales letter. You can see the different pages, and it has some benefits listed, like oh, we leave some spots so you can some empty pages so you can put in all the uh, put in some new other pictures from um, from the fest. Uh, uh, yeah. From the celebration and stuff yeah. like that, yes. And yeah. Oh, good. Okay. I think that might work a lot better than just a generic store where all the products are listed. So the, this one, Dinah Kinderbeeble, that, that, is that his site as well? It's, mm. It is. Not sure. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually a... Oh, yeah, that's that's an uh, alternative. That that seems like it's just. Is it a duplicate of the other side? Maybe. Yeah, it seems like that. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. Okay. That that might be a problem because it seems like Google is preferring that side over the other or something. Okay, so yeah, it's two copies of the same one, which is pretty pointless from an SEO standpoint. Um, so it's got. Dein Taufgeschenk on, on this one and then mm. at the top of this one it also has Dein Taufgeschenk. Is that, is that a frame set or is that, uh, is that just a blank copy? No, it's a complete carbon copy I think by the look of it. Oh, yep, yeah. yep, yeah, it's, it's just a copy. So which one, this is interesting, which one has Google indexed? Because uh, Hmm, well, let's see. Okay, so, right, this one has slightly more. It's got a domain authority of 12 for Dinah Kinderbeeble. Interesting. He, he might be better off if he does a 301 redirect or something there so that he doesn't have two competing pages yeah. that are his own. Well, you see, I mean... Look, it, if if we identify that there are people searching for Kinder Beeble, for example, and we know that people are searching for um, Taufkeshank, then you know it it may be worthwhile having both. But oh, but there's no point having duplicate content. You know, people talk about Google having a duplicate content penalty. They don't have a penalty. But if you put yourself in Google's position. If it finds two pages that are identical, it's only going to index one of those pages, right? Yeah, of course. So, so it will tend to index the, f the first one that it finds, which is more than likely the one that has the inbound links, because that's how Google's going to find it in the first place. So um, it looks like it's preferring Dinah Kinderbeeble right now, but we can teach it that, that the other one is better. But OK, so, so let's see. Let's see what the uh, result was of the keyword difficulty for Geschenke Zugebot. Right, so I, I mean, I don't know how familiar you are with Moz's kind of scoring mechanism. So domain authority is, it's a, a, a logarithmic scale from zero to a hundred, which says how, basically, the, a, a domain's strength in terms of inbound links and respect and ability to rank. But this looks pretty uh, feeble. We've got a domain authority of 18 there. 
baby geschenke shop um, down in third place fourth place so that i i would say that is a term that we might possibly rank for okay so yeah, no, that sounds possible <laughs> yeah so and you know he needs a few links i think if we looked that up we'd find out that in fact we can scroll down um that one at, so if you look at these, yeah, this is one of the things that I look for. How many different websites link to that page? Um, so we've got four, two, fifteen. That one's got fifteen inbound links, right? Some of these have pages have zero links. That's an Amazon page, but most of them have uh, single figures. So you know, mm. if, if we wanted to, then we could get that. We we could get into the top ten for this search term. Okay. So, right, we'll loop back again to, to this. In, so I'm going to take this, this phrase and I'm going to put it into a keyword research um, spreadsheet. Okay. Um, I want to duplicate this sheet. It's not letting me do that. Why isn't it letting me do that? Oh, it's... Ah, that's because it's a read-only page. This is the one I wanted. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate that this keyword research sheet. So just just bear with me. Um, okay. I'm going to put the search term as the name of the sheet. And I'll put the search term in there. Okay, so... That's the term. The monthly searches we get from Google is for 14,800. 14,800, yeah? Yes, exactly. Uh, okay, so, it, and so this is the spreadsheet that, that I developed as part of the uh, a course that I, that I did last year. Um, so what this is doing is it's using average distributions to say if you were in position one, based on the global average, you would get 5,000 clicks per month for that term, okay? That's not too shabby. <laughs> it's not too bad at all. Um, however, we've got some certain issues. So we've got, if we look in Open Site Explorer for, um, yeah, we've got an issue with, basically our page authority and domain authority right now for this, for Dein Tafgeschenk are one and one. So basically, you know, the thing hasn't been, um, hasn't been crawled. But I'm going to say, like, for sake of argument, that's, we're going to put 15 in, which is just like entry level. So if we were to enter the market and we've got a couple of links pointing, that's what we'd be seeing. Okay. Um, now, here's what happens next. Okay. So we go into the difficulty report for that phrase. Okay. I then copy all of this text. This used to be simpler. And then if I paste it here, hopefully the spreadsheet will, okay, that's fine. If you have any NA, you have to replace it with zero. Okay, so this, this is what the spreadsheet is telling us, right? So it's, it's managed to parse out the page authorities and domain authorities from all of these sites. Um, and it's telling us which pages we have a chance of ranking for. Okay, so um, assuming that our page authority and domain authority right now are only 15, then we're not really going to, to be able to get that traffic. We need them to be about 30 each, okay? Okay, yeah. So, uh I mean, the other domain had already a, a page author or domain authority of 12, so I guess if we fix that problem with that duplicate content, we might be able to get to, to 15 easily. So. Yeah, <laughs> but interestingly, it's, it's also saying, Moz is also saying that they haven't crawled it. Um, so, I mean, look, it's not a problem. It's not a problem because if we look on, on this difficulty report, for example, uh, well, that's not much use. Okay, but if you've got links, if your website has got links from about 18 other websites, right, then you'll have a domain authority of about 18, um, page authority of about 30. So let's let's put those in. Okay, 
Now it's saying that that position three is a possibility. Okay, because we've we've now got the, you know the the same page authority and domain authority as they do, but so that could be potentially one thousand six hundred and ninety visits per month. However, this is the thing that you mentioned earlier on. What is the relevance of that term? Okay, so um, out of a score out of five, where five is maximum, hundred percent, how many people searching for this phrase? Um, birth gift present for birth yeah yes F for how what percentage of people do we think that that would be an appropriate you know we we would be relevant for well I guess about maybe 50 percent of the people us are in the Christian faith so <laughs> I, I yeah. guess that's a good good estimate then so, so if I put two out of five that would be 40 percent Okay, so that's what that's giving us is a score of fifteen hundred and sixty-four. Okay, so that's not a um, that's not bad. Okay, so we've got a score of one six five four. So I'm just going to I'll just make a note of that. Okay, where's the phrase again? Okay, one six five four. Right. So that's what we've just done. Then is we've done a keyword research analysis for one phrase. Now, okay. now we go back and we, we can actually discount anything that has a, um, a very low, so like these ones, um, for maybe less, le certainly anything less than 100, um, we're, we're not interested. So average monthly searches we want greater than equal to 100. Okay, so if I add that, it should then filter. Okay, so where were we looking? So you see, you see it's still coming up with suggestions for me. Um, so what would be what would be relevant in this list? Um, if nothing, I'll just keep scrolling down. Yeah, better keep scrolling down. Gift ideas, Valentine's Day gifts. <laughs> yeah, that's that's clearly not not birthday really. gifts. Yeah, I mean, you you could say that a birthday gift is slightly relevant, but I mean, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's well, really let, a bit too specific for that. Okay, let's filter then. What what word shall we shall we filter? Um, Taufa. Yeah. Yes, that that would certainly be. Okay, so if we filter it only to contain that, then we've got um, Geschenke zur Taufe, which is the one and that we've done. Okay. We did Geschenke zur Geburt. Okay. Geschenke zur Taufe. We didn't do that one. I mean, that that would be a five out of five relevance. I'd Excellent. say. Excellent. So. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, then I'm going to duplicate that sheet. Okay, I'm going to rename it Geschenke zur Taufe. Change that. Okay, all of this is. Um, see, I want to keep the page authority, domain authority, and I want to run a new report now. So I go back here, Google. Google Germany. So we know it's a slightly less popular phrase, 8,100. Yeah, but it's it's just so much more relevant. I mean, that's, that book is just it's just the perfect gift for a baptism or christening. Mm -hmm. Cool. Right. So. Um, I mean, the domain the domain says it. It's your uh, gift for baptism. So that's. <laughs> Okay, so here's the report, and again, you can see it's not very uh, competitive. So, what have we got? We've got... Okay, so this one at number one has only has links from three other websites, so that's pretty cool. Okay, now what we've also got, Moz has given us something interesting, so I have to select this first line 
first because it's also got image results coming up. So you, no, really, okay. you really want to be above those image results if you can. Okay, so here I'm going to put that in like that. I think. Yes, it, 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 it's in the document. Um, so has that come in? 33 and 45. No, maybe not. Okay, let's, let's do this a different way. I have to select all of that like normal. And then remove the image results rows. Okay. No, it's uh, it's quite difficult. This okay. So let's just look at the um, the com competition. So we've got three root domains. We've got page authority basically twenty five thirty five. Okay, um, which is true. Okay, so we would need to. And then number number two is what? About thirty two forty five. Okay, so that's kind of out of the question. But if we could be better than this number one, um, hang on, let's have a think. So that page is okay. Here's what it's got: the title tag says Geschenke zu Taufe und Geburt. Yes, that's... which is okay, but it's not in the domain name. It's got Geschenken. Oh no! Yeah, that's it. It's a Geschenk. Uh, yeah. Geschenk idee. It's basically present ideas. Yeah. That's so. It seems to be a domain that's all focused about ideas for presents, and then has a page with uh, present ideas for the birth and for the baptism. Then now, if we have Dein Tafgeschenk. Are we more relevant than they are in the in the domain name? Because the keywords in the domain name is still important for Google. Yeah, I guess it could be more relevant than. I mean, it it has yeah. Geschenk and I mean Geschenk is the plural form, so yeah. and it has Taufe, so both words are in there. Yeah. Might be more relevant. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's our domain. Um, so we've got Geschenk and Taufe both in the, well, at least Taufe, I'm sure Google knows the difference, both in the um, domain name. They've got Geschenk only in the domain name, and then they've got Taufe in the, in the rest of the URL, the file name. Okay, so I, I would say that we don't have to get as high as them. We don't have to get that 2535, but... That, that, to me, is looking interesting. Let's just check that we're not already in this list. Um, no, we're not. Not that I can see. And the other one was um, Kinder Beeble. So that's not in there either. Okay, so we know we're not ranking in the top 10 now. That, to me, looks like an interesting target. So... We would need, let's say, if we put domain authority 25. Yeah, we'd be, okay. We'd, so we'd need to be looking at about, you know, page authority, domain authority around 30. Um, so I'll put that in here. But if we do, okay, the traffic appeal. What's the problem there? Right, that's all because of this, all this mess down here. I'm going to try it once more. Uh, yeah, let's try it again.
No, it's not not happy with that. But I think that is going to be a more attractive target because the target traffic there is 2700 with the other one the target traffic was 5000 but we you know we were looking at that position 3 of like 1600 so mm. so let's look at this uh, geschenke zur taufe um if we can get 2700 or, or 1300 um visits per month we don't know right now i don't think what the conversion rate is of his page but craig would be able to tell us that yeah i mean it's that that keyword would just be so much more relevant because uh yeah like i said that's that's <laughs> that's basically the whole the whole point and just the present for birth that's more like uh like other stuff like um yeah, it's just too broad, too generic. Yeah, it's too too generic, and I mean, you basically give other stuff for when the ch child is born. Right then, you like uh, diapers and all all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What the parents basically need then, so that they can get used to their child and less likely to give a book. That, right then, I mean. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So so here, that's we can quickly now summarize our our recommendations for Craig. I think he's got some good low hanging fruit here. I think if, you know, we need to get some links, some links, any links at all built to this page will help to um, to get it to, to register. Yeah, I mean, I, he has some other sites. Maybe we could check um, <coughs> if those other sites have some page and domain authority and then he could just put a link to this site so that... Yeah. He would have some links. I mean, right now it seems like his site is not even on the radar. So yeah. So at least, at, le at the very least, he should be cross-linking between his sites. Okay. So what other pages? What other sites do we know that he, that Craig's got? Uh, I'm just looking. <laughs> He had that Ina. I'll just type it in. <laughs> That's and kids chuke box de. Those were the other yeah. two. Okay, so let's put these domain names into Open Science Explorer and see what see what it has to say. Kids jukebox, we are waiting. Okay, similar thing, um, hasn't been crawled. Uh, this one is better. This eeny mini moo um, has links from I thought the home page has links from six other websites. Okay, so at least that has something. So we should be linking from from that site to all the others at the very yeah, least. Yeah, that would make sense. Okay, so that's going to at least get us on the radar. Um, so if we go for, so the our advice is if we go for this Geschenke zur Taufe, um, then we have a shot at one position one or two if we can get the domain authority page authority up higher um, page authority domain authority it has to be said these aren't measures used by google they are an approximation or a guess that come from moz who also go out to scour the web and to crawl all the links um, obviously no one can do it no one has the resources that google has but basically if um, if open site explorer doesn't know about your page then pretty much no one's linking to it anyway so you can you can assume that it's uh, it's got no authority so yeah that's that's not really good can Moss tell us if if any of his pages are already ranking for something or would that show up in the open site explorer um it doesn't no if if you let me show you if i go into Moz analytics um uh, this is something that I subscribe to. You can have up to five campaigns. If I click into, for example, web design from scratch, 
um, who, which by the way has been hit by the latest Google update um, so it, it tells you how many links it's found tells you if you tell it what your keywords are how many um, how your keywords are doing if how many are entering the top 10 or are leaving the top 10 it tells you what your top keywords are for example so um, you would have to set it up as a campaign in Moz first oh, okay yeah. I see. Um, but yeah so open site Explorer will well um, basically if we you know when you put in the if you put in the home page and it says looks like we haven't crawled it yet then you can probably assume that it hasn't crawled any pages because if it lands on any page of your site then all those pages have probably got a link back to your home page so Moz would crawl your home page yes I, I think if your home page isn't isn't crawled then you can assume that pretty much nothing will be so yeah so so our summary is we think that's potentially very good. We think we, he could be getting a thousand, two thousand visits per month for that phrase and uh, with a little bit of SEO work. Now this is for a product that's selling for 15 to 20 euros. So we can assume that the, the, you know, the profit margin on that will be maybe five to 10 euros. Yeah, I think he said uh, eight to 10 euros per sale or something. If I if my notes are correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great. So yeah, eight to ten euros per sale, and um, I think Craig was telling us that his his revenue target wasn't very ambitious. I, I don't have my notes in front of me now, but um, yeah. yeah, he was just a thousand, a thousand or two thousand euros short. So basically, a uh, hundred to two hundred sales or something per month. So that shouldn't be too hard to reach. And <laughs> I mean, no. That's, well, I mean, so what we're saying is if we think that with a little bit of SEO work, we can get an extra uh, 1,000 to 2,000 visitors, if his conversion rate is 10%, then that would generate 100 to 200 additional sales. Um, and that alone then could, could actually help Craig achieve his revenue target. That sounds good, yeah. And I, th I think he might he might be onto something if he could basically pick out his other best-selling products and maybe create some some dedicated pages for those, and then later on maybe get his customers onto a list so that uh, he can remind them to buy something again for for the first birthday or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, and if you've, I guess, if you've got you know people who you know, do follow a faith, then there's no no harm in sending them an email every six months to say, you know, just just remember these products. And by the way, here's a voucher we can give you 10% off if you want to buy another one. Yeah, that's... You know, because if, 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 <laughs> if a family is Christian, if a grandparents are buying, the, you know, these gifts for one grandchild, maybe they've got other people around. So let's just t take a quick look at, at this page, okay? So we're going for the phrase... Geschenke zu, zu Tafel. Um, look at the HTML a little bit. The title says um, Personalized Children's Bible um, for a uh, christening uh, gift. Yes. Von uh, that's, that's a godfather or, yes. Uh, with a photo. Hmm. With okay. Yeah, from yeah, godparents maybe. With photos. Yes, so what we don't have here is um, okay. So we've got Tavkashenk. Yeah. So so basically, we've got those. We've got what they call a broad keyword match in the page title, which is a good thing. But I, th you know, even better, we actually want to have that phrase. As the first three words in the title, maybe. Ideally, yeah. Ideally, um, we should. It should also be. So there you go. Look. It's in the meta description. Geschenke zur Taufe. Yeah, this meta description starts with a phrase. We, we need to get that phrase into the title. We need to get the phrase into the rest of the page. So if I do a search on the page, it appears three times in the meta description, in the meta keywords, which are useless for Google. And then, okay, in a very long 
heading two tag. Yeah. Well, it's, it's not it's not really bad, but it certainly could be better. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, so we would want, I think, a heading one with that phrase in it. We want the phrase to appear two or three times in the content and, and throughout the content so that when Google looks at this, they think, oh, this page is about that phrase. So all good. So I think we may have identified some low hanging fruit, which will help this customer to achieve his goal. Um, there's probably a lot more that we can do in the future, but I think that's good enough for now.